Welcome to episode 3 of Introduction to the Team. Today is a sprint stage. So let's get straight into it and look at the race. So we're doing a Giratalia stage. It's the 2003 Giratalia. I think it's stage 16. It is a completely flat stage, but it is a long one. So our sprinter today is Sam Bennett, the Irish champion. You will note he's got increased flat and increased sprint and acceleration. He is by far the best sprinter. We then have Karl Muratov. He is the Uzbekistan national champion. Now I had to add him to the database because he was not in PCM World Database. So looking at his results over the whole of his career, not just the last year, he has been the national time trial champion for, I think, eight years in a row. So I gave him reasonable time trial, but not enough to be really good at time trial. He is 37 years old. So I gave him the, bar the worker smith uh, stat, 75. I just gave him one of the stats randomly, 71. We then have Seismon Sajnok from CCC Protein. Now, why did I choose Sajnok? That is because... In the Be a Manager series, I have the CCT squad, and Sajnok is actually a decent rider. Plus, I have learned to love him over the time in Be a Manager. So I was like, hey, Sajnok, he'd be a great addition to the team. Plus, he makes a decent leadout man, and in the career aspect, he will progress his, uh, what's the word? His potential will increase. I think he will become a world class sprinter. We have another New Zealander, we have Shane Archbolt, the current New Zealand road race champion. I've upped his sprint a little bit and his flat a little bit, but he will be the main lead-up man for Sam Bennett, as it is in real life. We then have Mil Tiedis. He is the Cyprot, or the Cyprus road race and time trial champion. He was in the database. I don't think I changed any of his stats, but he's there for that Giro. We then have Eddie Dunbar, domestic from Team Ineos, another Irishman there, making him good old Sean Kelly happy. So he, I don't think I adjusted, I think I might have adjusted the stats by the plus one in a few of them, but otherwise he's pretty standard. Daryl MP, he was until recently the South African National Road Race and Time Trial Champion. So... He's here as just a general all-round domestic, and hopefully to bring back that South African champ jersey, so we can bring him to the Giro. We then have Hamet Orkin from Turkey. He's another sprinty lead-out man, and he is the Turkish national champion. So this race here introduces quite a few new faces. Actually, all of them are new faces from the past two episodes. So let's get going. So we're obviously working for Sam Bennett today. So we're going to use our Cyprot champion to protect Sam Bennett. Let's have a look at Karmov. Nope, he looks fine. And like I say, every episode I'm going to need to start working on these national champ jerseys. I'm speeding up, it is quite a long stage. I can actually probably put Karmov in the breakaway, maybe. 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 Uh, not worth it now. It took ages to get to the front. Oh well, he's going to be our second domestic. He can protect Archbold, probably, because Archbold's on a good day. And he's the main leader man. Who's in the breakaway today? Breakaway today is Harry Tenfield of AG2R and James Piccoli of Israel Startup. Let's have a look at the riders in today's race. Bora Hansgrohe, they have Peter Sagan, Pascal Ackerman, UAE with Christoph, Gaviria, Rishesi, FDJ with Dumas, and that's it, maybe him, Kofidis with Viviani and Laporte, Jumbo Visma have Turnison, De Plus, Martin has a good, why did they bring Dumoulin? I suppose it is the Tour of... Oh, sorry, the Giratalia. So they're like, hey, we'll bring 
GC Road is here. Um, send you back to get bottles. Let's continue through. So now has got Dagen Kolb. The Koenig's got Jakobsen, Hodge, Morkov, Stimail. Sunway with Matthews, Dainese. NTT with Nazolo. That's pretty much it. Trek with Tunes. Chacone to Climber. Israel with Andre Greifel, the big gorilla. EF didn't really bring a sprinter. I mean, they have um, Halverson now. Bahrain's got Garcia. Cavendish, surely the Manx Missile makes a return in this race. Movistar, Valverde is probably going to go for it. Don't think Movistar have a sprinter, do they? <laughs> Roland's apparently. Arkea Samsic for Nais Abuhani. Dan McLean would be a good lead out for that. Team Ineos with Swift. Rowe. AG Tuar. They've got Dillier. Duval, maybe. Or Venturi. Venturini. Mitchell and Scott got Mizjek. Mizek. Mizek. He's a good rider. Also got him in my Being a Manager series. And no one else. Astana. There's no one there. Oh, jeez. Look. Oh, Gidditch. CCC got Marcesco. Marcesco. Di Marchi. And then Gazprom Rushvilla have Kunitsov, Mario Chima, and that's it. And again, let's get back up and let's start fast forwarding. About 144 kilometers to go. Why does it say 100 kilometers to the sprint, but I cannot see the sprint? That's odd. Like it's just a one-off race, not a, not a stage. But otherwise, we're looking good. No one's lost any health. Health. No one's lost any energy. Someone, someone just got too much as crash. Kuznetsov and Clement Russo. That would be domestic. So I don't think anyone will come back for them. But I think they should make it back. Gazprom sitting at the back. Is that just Gazprom being Gazprom? Let's send our Uzbekistan rider back to get a some more water. So I did have to fix it, make Archibald the national champion, because they still had Fouché. James Fouché, he's a he's a good upcoming talent. He rides for Axion Higgins Burn in real life. Which well he doesn't really ride for them. Well he does ride for them, but with the COVID nineteen he's not necessarily right. We're not necessarily racing. He's still riding for them. If you follow them on Instagram, you see they're still actually training over in the States right now, which is pretty cool. So he, in the database, was still the national champion. I managed to change that. Uh, Rui Costas here for UAE. My other national champs is Swifty, Ryan Gibbons, Higita. So before I did this, uh, we'll start this career. I more for the database, database. I did a quick run through of the career, and I started oh, made it up to the tour under before I realised I had a few mistakes I wanted to fix before I started recording the episodes. And the Australian time trial championships: Richie Port beats Rohan Dennis by t I think it was 10, 15 seconds or something. And it's like, ho hold on, Richie Port's got 74 time trial, Rowan Dennis has got 80. I don't know what happened there, I'm pretty sure it was a flat time trial. Maybe just really good form for Port, or really bad form for Dennis, or a bit of both. And then the road race, so, usually in most careers, it ends up with Dennis being national champ in both. In the road race, I think he got beaten by... One of the Hamiltons, other Lucas Hamilton or the other Hamilton. Yeah. But that was, I find that really odd. I think I raced the first stage of the Tornanda and of the sprint. 
and we took Bennett, who was not. No, we took Trenton because Bennett wasn't in form. No, 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 we didn't name Trenton. We, we, we took Bevan. Bevan sprinted. And what happened there with Bevan was he got third, which, is, which, which, which was good. We still got beaten on the line by the better sprinters. Um, and then after that I realised Bevan shouldn't really get third among the big sprinters, so I nerfed him back down to where he is now. Otherwise, yeah, I, I put him up by definitely too much. There's a sprint apparently coming up. Will these guys sprint for the sprint? Okay, yes they do. No, just Philip Philippe Hogan that's just attacking. Bit of an odd place to attack. He doesn't sit up after the sprints. He wasn't going for the sprint points. So as always with my leading out sprint trains, I set them up about 20 kilometers to go unless there's like a hill or something. Today it's dead smooth. It's been very uneventful. The breakaway got away. They got a decent lead, and now we're catching back up to them. Okay, so we can put it back to times one. Christoph's already up there with Rochese. De Klerk. So at 19 kilometers to go, we can start making our sprint train. So it looks like we will start with our Uzbekistan, put our Cyprus on the back, put Sajnok there, it's at a 75, 74. You'll be the lead out there, you can go there. MP has got, MP goes in that. MP is just better than Sajnok, so he goes there, plus he's got better uh, flat. Oh, better get you to move forward or else we're going to lose our position. And you're worse than such Knox. You can go there. Dunbar. We might use you just before such Knox as a... Uh, You've got the power on the flat. Oh, come on, move up, move up, move up, move up. Come on, train. We're going to use a rider here, getting up, getting up to the front. Hold it here. Just double check the train's all in one piece. It's not gr great. Great. This will probably not go as well as it was going to go originally. Let's grab control of Sejnok now. Let's go into the menu because the key stopped working and we'll move them across to hopefully jump up to these guys up here. Give him the energy gel and we'll reduce his pace just slightly. Come on Sejnok, give you the gel. There's only six case to go now. Put you on, you can go sit at the back. Because if I leave an automatic, you'll block the train. Okay, we're caught up. Only four case to go, so we're gonna have to adjust that strategy. We get to four case, we're going to launch with surge knock. And these guys are gonna do their own train. But in the moment we're just oh don't be don't get blocked, don't get blocked. Okay, four case, let's go. Surge knock, launch. Around the outside. These guys here pull away to the left. Energy gel on these two, energy gel on MP. 3Ks, we're going to launch with MP, maybe up now. MP sprints round, we can sprint with these two just for the hell of it. Energy gel on Archbold and Bennett. MP's up to the right, Archbold we will launch now. Oh, Bennett's been blocked. Oh, I'll launch with Bennett now then. Oh, no. oh Dunbar. Getting up there. Oh no no. Hold it, we missed it. Pascal Ackerman, Jakobsen, and Bennett actually sneaks the third place after that bad positioning. You need Dunbar will probably get eighth position and Archbold in eleventh. So a pretty good effort by the squad. And that's our sprint squad with our odd domestics. Next stage, or next race, we'll look at some of the hillier climbs and we'll look at taking some of our hilly riders. So I'll be our main GC man and a few of the domestics we haven't shown yet for the hill climb.
There it is, Bennett the third, Jakobsen and Ackerman, and Demar behind Ascavidia, Dunbar after a surprise sneak attack beating Garcia and Degenkolb just behind Barbier. Archbold the lead out man getting eleventh. And anything happened at the back. It was interesting. Oh, we missed it, but it must have been Rigoberto Uro must have fallen, or Pegita. Looks like the whole EF education team dropped back to go help. I suppose AI still think it's a stage race. But there we are. Black Pro, pro Cycling. So, that's the end of the Giro with the sprint stage. Let's come back to a mountain stage next.